Welcome to Brain Map Anatomy. Today we shall discuss a mind map on the anatomy of the uterus, the childbearing organ in females. First, we will see the anatomical parts of the hollow, thick-walled, muscular organ. The large upper two-third of the pear-shaped uterus is called the body. The part of the body above the openings of the uterine tube at the cornu is called the fundus of the uterus. The smaller cylindrical lower one-third part of the uterus is called the cervix. Isthmus connects the body and cervix, marked by a circular constriction. Now we will see the normal position and angulation of the uterus. A non-gravid uterus is a pelvic organ, and the angle made between the long axis of the uterus and the long axis of the vagina is called the angle of antiversion, which is 90 degrees. Whereas, the flexion of the body of the uterus with respect to the cervix is referred to as the angle of antiflexion, which is 170 degrees. These angles are important for the support of the uterus, which when altered will cause the prolapse. Also, these angles are frequently tested during viva voice in anatomy exams. Regarding the relations of the uterus, the important anterior relations are urinary bladder, uterovesical fold of peritoneum and the anterior fornix of the vagina. Posteriorly the uterus is related to recto-uterine fold of peritoneum, rectum, and the posterior fornix of the vagina. Lateral relations of the uterus are the broad ligament, uterine vessels, and the lateral fornices of the vagina. Now we shall see the supports of the uterus, which is clinically very important, and a favorite question of many examiners. The support of the uterus can be discussed under two main headings, the primary supports and the secondary supports. The primary supports can again be subclassified into three. First, the muscular or active supports of the uterus given by pelvic diaphragm, perineal body and urogenital diaphragm with distal urethral sphincter mechanism. The viscera in relation to the uterus, like the urinary bladder in front, vagina inferiorly and most importantly the uterine axis discussed above, the angle of antiversion and antiflexion play an important role in the support of the uterus. The mechanical support to the uterus is given by the fibromuscular true ligaments of the uterus. There are four of these ligaments. The transverse cervical ligament or the cardinal ligament, so called because it's the strongest mechanical support is also known by the name Mackenrod's ligament. The pubocervical ligament extending anteriorly, the uterosacral ligament extending posteriorly and the round ligament of the uterus also known as ligamentum teres uteri. The role of secondary support given by the false ligaments which are simply the folds of the peritoneum is of doubtful value. These are the broad ligament of the uterus, uterovesical fold, rectovaginal fold and rectouterine fold of peritoneum. Last we will see the blood supply to the uterus. The branch of the anterior division of internal iliac artery called the uterine artery and the direct branch from abdominal aorta, the ovarian artery anastomosis at the lateral wall of uterus. We will see the contents of broad ligament in a separate video, and also the lymphatic drainage of the uterus and cervix which is a clinically relevant topic to discuss. Thank you.